Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and welcome back everybody to the Walking Dead Survival Series. Today, we have a lot of plans to do. I got some cool things we're going to do in this episode and I think it's going to be really exciting. So if you guys hit that like button right about now, that'll be amazing. I know how much you guys love this series and I do love it a lot as well. So if I can see some more support, that'll be amazing. And uh, also, if you guys are new to this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more of the Walking Dead Survival. And I do have some cool and exciting, exciting news for you guys and I'll tell you that soon in the middle of the episode. So stick to it guys and you guys are going to enjoy this episode. I know you guys will. So, uh, first of all, I do want to say thank you guys for the support on the last episode. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot, and I just have to thank you guys because maybe I don't do it enough, but maybe I do and I just don't see it. Uh, but I just really want to thank you guys because I love this series a lot, and I'm never going to stop it. I just love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so, we're going to get started, guys, in today's episode, and uh, we're actually going to go do some explorations near the tunnel. In the last episode, I'll show you guys what we did so you guys get a little bit caught up with things. Now, as you can see, my inventory is all set for today's episode. Episode. Uh, I just wanted to do it off screen so that you guys don't have to see me go into the chests and loot things out and just do all the boring things that you guys might not want to see. So I think that's a good time saver. And also, guys, the chickens are doing okay. We're not going to focus them on today's episode because I want to go do some explorations and see what we can uh, get ourselves because we do need some armor loots. We don't have enough of that. So as you guys can see, the farm is doing decently okay. Uh, I think we did this two episodes ago, um, and I think it came out pretty successful. Uh, not too bad. This is a, kind of our main food source currently. Uh, the sugar cane is okay for XP, so that's why I have them. And I did read one of the comments that someone said, thank you so much for this as well, uh, that if we replace the dirt with sand, the sugar cane will grow a lot faster. So we'll probably do that um, in the next episode or towards the end of the episode. But today, I want to focus on our journey to explore the um, the lands of The Walking Dead because I guess that's our, our mission. And also, there's a lot of walkers down here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's a lot of them. Um, so we got to do this a little bit smart. And open this one at a time. So, ooh, this is going to be interesting. I think we can kill them from here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so he's dead. Come on, buddies. Come on. Your friend's still alive. He's just dead. Even more dead, if that's a thing. Okay, so we'll take you guys out. Um, this is one of the things I always have to be careful. And that's why I like using these type of bars. Because it actually does... Um, it does break, but I'm not sure if it completely breaks. I'm not sure if the doors completely break. But I am kind of low on food already. No, I'm not. Okay, we're doing okay. I don't think we're doing too horribly bad. And also, I am using an iron sword because I did have a nightstick, and the durability on that is really poor. So that's why I am in a rush to go find ourselves some more resources that we can actually use. Um, so let's go adventure off into our uh, desired location. As you guys can see already, look at all these walkers. So um, we have to keep in mind that we're just going to be going uh, south. So our return, our return point is north. So that's we got to keep that. So we're just going to go straight and see what we hit. Hopefully it'll be something interesting for us to um, grab on hold to and see if we can find any really good resources. Um, so let's go and move on. I also want to talk to you guys quickly and mention that the Walking Dead server series is coming back. Um, uh, first of all, the seaport map, I'll have to talk to SGC Barbarian and get some more information about when that is going to be fixed or when is it coming out and stuff like that. There's things I have to wait for. I don't want to rush it. So what I'll do is I'm actually going to go and go back onto the Atlanta server. So if you guys want to see more of that, make sure you get, let me know in the comment sections. And I got a surprise guest. Uh, I'm not going to, I can tell you who it's going to be, but then it can, I can feel like like it's gonna ruin the uh I guess the excitement for it but I can tell you who it is because um hmm, now I'm debating should I let you guys know or should I not let you guys know um uh, because I'm a nice person I'm gonna let you guys know I'm gonna be uh doing the Atlanta server um ser uh, series I mean with uh Matrix Plays you guys I'll show you his channel and the link in the down below so make sure you guys go check it out they got a lot of walks coming up we got bandage and I think we're gonna do a really nice job he's a really good guy he's Oh boy, we got ourselves some ammo, first of all. That's uh, always a good thing, can, uh, can beans. And he didn't actually start the Walking Dead series as well on his channel. And uh, he said some nice compliments about this series and the Walking Dead and SGC Barbarian and I just doing a lot of work with this series. So I want to thank him for that. 
and um, and to the point is like I think he's gonna be a great um, extension to the series for the server so it's gonna be actually fantastic oh I forgot I don't have shift Ooh, that was so close now what type of ammo did we get I don't even think this has any ammo in it um, no it does not oh yes we have ammo for it no way we just got ammo so I have more of that ammo at home which is something I just did not notice and we did leave our suppressor home so I feel like if we can find a suppressor, that'd be fantastic. If we can't, can't do much about it. Let's take these guys out. Um, I kind of want to go back home, but the mission is to continue exploring. I don't want to waste time and go back home and get anything. So we're going to go to that base down below over there. And we're going to go get some resources. Hopefully, it does contain a suppressor for us. Because I kind of want to use this gun. Since we do have some backup ammo at home. Uh, we have another 30 um, ammo to that. So that's always a good thing. Is anyone else coming? I kind of feel worried about that. So I'm going to clear this out. Look from the sides. Always want to make sure our perimeters are safe. Because, trust me, they cause a lot of damage to the walkers. Um, so that's always a thing to be aware of. Let's check our back. Our back is okay. So we're going to go to this little building right over here. And then after that, we're going to go back to the same direction we just came from that way. So, Because I haven't explored there yet. And I think there's going to be some good resources for us to gather. And I do need some more military gear loot. Um, as we do have a military... Um, armor but we do need some more other types of loot so where is the entrance to this wonderful looking place um i don't know if i can find where is it we're just gonna have to build up because i can't find it. i think it's just stuck underground i'm not so sure how that works um we'll probably get our way out of here so we got here another oh that's just too nice we got ourselves another ammo for that gun so we're pretty much all stacked out for this we have a lot of resources and it's looking fantastic so that's always a good thing uh, what do we got in here? We got a med pack, which I actually have two of them at the moment. That's a good thing. Not too bad at all. Don't need the flour, though. Um, and I do want to make sure I have the food. Why are we picking that up? Oh, actually, the flowers don't... Ooh, that's interesting. The flowers don't drop like normal items do. So, we got to find our way out of here. I want to get my dirt stacked up when we enter other places. This guy wants to fight. I'll give you a fight, mate. <laughs> um, there we go. He should be another hit. There we go. And I think we can make our way down, and let's go back to the journey we want to go travel. I kind of want to make a loop, but I feel like water will be the safest way, since the walkers actually are a lot slower in the water. But they're still pretty faster than normal zombies, if you guys haven't picked up on that yet. So that's a thing to be aware of. So, hopefully we can find ourselves another type of abandoned home or something here that we can get some more loots from. I do want a suppressor, but if things go to worse, I will use this gun for emergencies, but it will attract more walkers, which will cause a bigger concern for me and my safety. So, I kind of want to be aware of that and our dangers around here. Now, I haven't traveled in this area, so I have no idea how many walkers we'll encounter. There could always be a little bit more, so we have to always be um, aware of that and keep our boundaries safe. That's the thing, too. Uh, ooh, let's get in here quickly. Okay, block ourselves out. Now we're safe. And we got another bandage. Okay, some more uh, gear. That's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, empty water bottle we don't need, and an ACOG scope, which is always a good thing. We can attach it to this gun, which we will. I think that's going to be a great um, benefit to this. So now we have some zoom. But I really do want to get ourselves a um, suppressor. That's kind of the goal of this episode. I don't want to get lost. So we're just going to be continue going straight from this location. Going to go clear out this area here and hopefully can provide us a suppressor so we can actually test out this gun. Because it is pretty cool. Uh, a barbed wire kit. Yes, that's our first barbed wire kit, guys. That's fantastic right there. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's going to be good to fortify our base even more. So that's always a good thing. Now I want to see if I can collect blood from zombies. Um, I guess I can't. But the thing is, um, on the server series, you can actually use an empty blood bag and actually collect blood from, um, from people that you see. So they lose a little bit of blood and get some nausea, but at the same time, you're going to get some blood from them, which is pretty cool. I wish we could do that with zombies, but then it makes sense that we'll probably get infected from them if it was the real deal. So that's always uh, a negative about it. We have to be a little bit aware of that. So, okay, we're going to make an exit way ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man, that scared the heck out of me. See, that's why that was a poor idea. So we got to find ourselves a little base here and or walk it off a little bit. Oh, boy. We're reaching the snow or sand biome. Sand biome, I guess. And snow biome. So I have not explored much of the snow biome yet. Oh, boy. These guys are coming in hot like crazy. Oh, boy. These guys are really coming in hot. Okay. Now we're in deep danger. So we got to go get ourselves a fort and get there safe because... It is really building up the danger right now. And the rain. I don't like it. We're going to turn it off. Don't worry. Dash. Bam. Okay, don't worry. It's all good and handy in here, guys. Um, hopefully, we can get into this base and make it safe. Get this dirt and this stone. 
so we can build ourselves a wall because these areas are always dangerous. Now, I need to get up here somehow. Oh, no, I need to get around here without them knowing I'm in here. Blood bag. All right, let's just gather all these. Fresh apple, some food, some morphine. Oh, fantastic. ACOG scope, we got an extra one already, which is a good thing because we can use it for more guns. A wind stick will not do any anything to us, so we don't need that. Empty water bottle, nothing. No good. Med pack, we do need that. We're actually getting a good amount of uh, medical gear. We're actually full on inventory, so I do have a backpack, which is also full. Oh my goodness, I believe this is empty. Okay, good. We're just going to store everything in here. We need the compass, um, and we'll store everything else in there. Nice and all good to go. So that's all set. And let's grab that. That's always a good thing. I guess I never knew we actually had a full backpack. That's actually some good things in here that we can use. Water can, excellent. More 44 Magnum um, weapons, which is always a good thing. So we got ourselves a blue spray pan, which is freaking awesome. That's always cool. We actually can do that now. So I can show you guys how this works. So you get the spray paint and you drag it down in here. Um, wait a minute. Nope, nope. Like this. Here, I'll show you guys right now. I think it's just a normal, um, using the normal key right here. And then you put the spray paint. And voila, guys, you got yourself a blue gun, which is awesome. Always a cool thing to customize the gun. I think that's always a cool thing, to be honest. So we came from this direction. So um, if I want to make sure we're safe, I want to make sure we're heading north. I know my like which coordinates I am at, so if we continue going straight, it'll be safe. But uh, what I want to make sure is we don't break our legs like that. That was a really stupid thing. But I have enough experience to know the heights and to know how safe we are, so... Don't jump from anything higher than like five to six blocks and you will break your legs if that ever happens to you. Um, you may get really lucky where you won't, but the chances of you breaking your legs are very high at that height. So just be honest, you get what I did there? Um, but yeah, just always be careful and be aware of the height you're, um, I guess, what height you're at. Can we go in here, please? I really do need to get some more loot. All right, good. I think this is going to be our last stop for a place. Um, hopefully, it'll be a good spot, too. An old shovel and a M... Oh, that's actually a very good uh, ammo gear for us. Let's check out our borders, first of all, because, again, see how they come nearby? Uh, and I would have just walked out and probably got some good hits on me. So this guy's a, a GG walker right there. Take him out. Uh, I think we're safe. Nope, there's one more. Um, where are you, buddy? Just come up here and fight me. Come on. There we go. Hopefully we can kill this guy and make our run back home. Um, after we get our way back home, I'll probably do some other things as well by finishing up the farm a little bit. But again, we'll probably encounter some more uh, obstacles along the way. So it could be in the next episode where we do something at the home. Now again, someone did mention that every three episodes we should actually go exploring. So that's what I'm doing now. And I, I'm always taking your feedback. Always keep that in mind. I'm always taking your feedback. Always reading the comments. And I'm always um, doing what you guys request to make this series something apart that we both can enjoy. So I think that's always a cool thing. So we're going to go head back north. Uh, that's pretty cool that our home is located north. And I believe that our location is somewhere located this way. Um, again, I may get lost a little bit. And then I'll have to go and check out the coordinates um, in the recording and just walk back there. But, I'm yep, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. I'm just going to use this island to get a little bit of faster pace than them. Um, this is actually a really cool, interesting location as well. But I know we came from there, so we're just going to head into the same direction, guys. Um, and I just want to make sure we're safe. We don't get too lost. And that's always my big concern because that's happened in the past to me. I've gotten very lost and it took me forever to find a way back home. So that's why I'm always taking a safe trip. Always have a compass. Uh, that's something I do recommend for anyone who is doing these type of explorations like me. Make sure you guys have a compass and know your uh, base location. Like, I already know where it is because I've kind of been playing on the same location for a while now. So I have a very good point and know where the x-coordinate, y-coordinates are, an estimate about the, where they are. So that's why I kind of know where I'm going. Uh, but if you guys are just starting out, it's kind of difficult to not know where you are without a compass because it's really on the screen instead of using F3. You know, some people can use it. I, I don't think it's the worst thing to use F3, but compass is always the best in my opinion. I just love it a lot. So we're going to make our way back home. Um, I feel like we did a lot of good things this episode. We did explore a lot, which is always a good thing. Finding ourselves some resources like we did today. Some valuable resources, to be honest. These resources actually will come in handy. We got ourselves good ammo. And we have a lot of good uh, gun ammo, which is what we need. I believe we have to go in this direction. Yep. Uh, there we go. Because I, I know my X is at like 103, 102. So if we go straight from this area, we should encounter it uh, fairly soon. Um, if not, maybe my Y coordinate is a little bit messed up. But we'll, we'll get there. Don't worry. We're, we'll, we'll get there pretty safely. Um, the river is right across here. So that means there's a bridge coming up somewhere along here. Um, and it could be... 
anywhere between the oh there it is okay cool so there it is told you it's, it's gonna be somewhere around here the river so we're gonna make it back home as you can see there's a lot of walkers coming from the back which i'm a little bit nervous and again this place is a work of progress this bridge here oh boy i feel like they're right behind me there we go let's get ourselves out of here close up this wall this is a really makeshift wall here again i do apologize about that we'll probably come back and fix it um but man this was a really interesting episode today guys we did a lot of cool things we are a little bit low on water so it takes almost a full round trip and uh you're almost out of water so make sure you have water and food surprisingly i didn't have to use much of my food which is always a good thing i'd never really want to use too much of it and what are you doing on my house bro um get down here get down here okay there you go you're two hit kill there we go three hit not bad um fantastic so we're back home everything's amazing um i guess there's not a lot of walkers in here just a few that spawn um that's not too bad just a few walkers in here uh that's better than before one time i showed up here and there were at least 10 walkers in the house and that was a big uh surprise party right there so i want to go from the top and check out our perimeters always make sure everything is safe chickens are doing somewhat okay they're not doing too good at all to be honest so we'll have to breed them with our seeds because we have a lot more seeds now which is why i always want to do this so i'll show you guys now the suppressor so we do have an extra uh oh this has 40 ammo Wait, is this the same gun let me check it out uh if we go and open this um it is not or it is let me see a 40 strat let me, let's check it out i don't think it is Okay, so it's a little bit different, so that means it's a different type of gun. Um, oh, wait a minute. Is this, this for the scar? I am not so sure. Let's check it out, because it could be, and I, I never knew that. Oh, it is for the scar. Oh, my God. Okay, things I find out at the end of the episode are always interesting, guys. So we do have a good amount of ammo now. We have our weapons all secure and set. Um, that's actually fantastic to know that. I have one suppressor, which I can use wisely, and that's going to be for this gun, because I have more ammo for it so as we put our suppressor you guys will see how it looks now um so i can just hold it for you guys and look how amazing that looks come on guys give me give me some props on this this looks freaking amazing everything is awesome hold shift i can hold my breath and get a smoother um hit on the walkers always good i have an extra compass for emergencies so let me clear out what we don't need here or just put in the things we just received so we have some more ammo i do have a lot of things in the backpack so i'm gonna take all these and just put them out inside our home here so we have some barbed wire kit which we will use uh some more ammo uh and i think that's all of the guns we have on us i'm gonna keep this gun always on me it's like our a pistol but in this case it's a big gun because it's all we have and uh put in any of our medical gear because we do got a lot more of it which is always good um we're always kind of actually we are running out on it a lot to be honest so morphine is always a good thing that is actually a very good um run we did we just stocked up back on our health um, which is a good thing because we were very low on that and that's a little bit of a, a worrisome feeling You don't have as much as you need. So that's always a good thing I like the fresh apple. It's different from a fresh different apple, you know, it's pretty cool to be honest um, AOG scope we do have um, a cog scope AOG um, load. Um, so let's go put this in here and drop off anything. We don't need a med pack an extra med pack That's always good there we go. We're actually doing really good on med packs and food. We're doing pretty good cereal box, which is always a good thing. Drop off some of these. And we just cleared out our inventory, which is fantastic, guys. This was a really successful episode. We're going to go breed leftover chickens um, to end off this episode of The Walking Dead. We did a fantastic job in this episode, which I'm really happy about. I think one of the chickens was just bleeding out there. I'm not sure how that happened. All right, come on, chickens. Get over here. Start breeding up. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be a tall enough uh, for us to use. Come on, I think that's all of them that's going to be breeding up today. Let's see, anyone here left? No, I think that's all of them. Uh, we're just going to go in one more time, YOLO. Uh, I have some blocks that we can build up from. All right, oh, that's actually blocking us. Ooh, interesting. So if I do this, hopefully that will keep them from jumping out, if anything. Uh, I need one more block, though. So we'll just do this, and hopefully they won't get out. Hopefully that's safe enough for them, and we can go around. Oh, that's excellent. Perfect. There we go. So we got some more chickens to end off the episode. Chickens, I'm just going to throw these eggs down here. No chickens. Okay, well, that's that. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of the Walking Dead Survival Series. I personally had a blast on this one. I love always going out and exploring this dangerous post-apocalyptic world. And um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Look at how cool this is turning out, guys. I got to admit, this base is 
too too professional right now it's getting it's gonna get a lot better i have to admit we're gonna build a tunnel there and then we're probably gonna expand in this direction have ourselves a tower that we're gonna build up over there and maybe connect it to that base and have a really nice fortified unit but that means we'll have to protect it a lot more but as the moon is going down the series is about to come to an end so if you guys enjoyed this episode of the wonky dead and the sun's actually going up it's pretty cool um i hope you guys enjoyed the walking dead today and the survival series i did a really good job today we got ourselves safe and away from any dangerous walk situations and we got ourselves some good a lot of good loot and i think this is fantastic as well the server series is coming back and i want to show you guys this if i press c bam we can keep it on our back isn't that amazing come on give me props that, that, that is freaking amazing that's why i love this mod so much so again make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe if you guys are brand new and i'll make sure to catch you guys next time in another episode of the walking dead survival and other cool episodes coming to your way guys thank you so much for the support hope you guys enjoyed my name is alexon and stay foxy